just pressed the record button on my OBS and I have also gone live on my Facebook uh, profile. So thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja, and it is Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So for those of you that may not have been following me for a while, I made the decision last year that I really wanted to empower at least 10 people to become debt-free by next year. One of the ways that I decided to do that is by sharing what I know and what I'm learning about Forex. Forex is one of the only ways that I've found that allows you to potentially generate income without having to be a salesperson. You don't have to be super technical. Um, you know, if you can follow certain patterns, you're, you're good. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that today um, and, and show you a couple of things. So first of all, I wanted to talk to you about the mechanics of, of trading with Forex. So it's very similar to trading with stocks, um, crypto, and then the like. Um, but basically, uh, the objective is, is that you are exchanging one currency pair, or excuse me, one currency for another. So let's say that you had the Euro USD. If you were buying the Euro USD, you are expecting that the um, value of the Euro is going to increase and that the value of the USD is going to decrease. And so you're expecting it to go up and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So, <clears throat> so you are expecting that the exchange of one currency for another uh, will change in the in, in favor of what you expect it to do. And as I'm looking off here, cause I wanna take notes cause I wanted to make this short and sweet for you. All right, so let's say, let's do it this way. Paint. And, um, oh gosh, there we go. All right, let's do this. Share screen, perfect. Okay, so, come on. Hey Lance, hey Carla, thanks for joining. Okay, perfect. So let's say that you are going to buy 10,000 euros. You know what? Let's do it this way. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So you're going to buy 10,000 euros at an exchange rate of 1.18. All right. So what this means is, is that you would be buying 10K euros and selling 11,800, excuse me, USD. So, so if you were doing that, right, <coughs> um, then so let's say that you made that purchase on your Forex account. You you bought 10,000 euro because you, you can do this. You have what's called leverage when you're investing in Forex. Um, but let's say that you bought 10,000 euro, which means that you sold 11,800 US dollar to get that 10,000 euro. Well, let's say that when you decided to sell it back, which means that you sold the euro in order to buy back the USD, right? But let's say the exchange rate we'll just call it ER, is now 1.25, okay? So what this means is the, the your exchange rate is the ratio of your currency valued against another. So this 1.25 means that a Euro USD pair is currently worth 1.25, right? So you would be selling your 10K Euro and buying one, two, 500 USD. The difference is $700 profit because you went from 11,800 USD that you sold and you bought 12,500, right? So the difference was 700 US dollars. So if this had gone in your favor and it, it and your, uh, it, the um, Euro depreciated while the US dollar appreciated, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. If the if you bought your your uh, your Euro USD and the Euro appreciated, meaning it was worth more in US dollars, which it is here, then it 
went in your favor and you actually made money. And in this instance, you made $700. So this is an example. Um, as you can see above all this video, I have a disclaimer saying past results not typical. They do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. These are simply examples and information to help you make a more informed decision. So let's go on to the next piece. Hey, Robert, thanks for joining. Okay, so how to read a quote. So there's lots of ways that you can read quotes. I'm just gonna zoom in here just so you can see what it looks like on TradingView. This is the same thing for um, whether you're on MT4 or anything else like that. You have a quote that shows you what's gonna be your sell and your buy when you're using that currency pair. So this one right here, we have a sell also known as the um, ask price. And so your ask price is what your broker will sell the base for. So they're going to sell on this one. GBP USD. <clears throat> Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm saying this right. Sorry, I did say that wrong. So your... Oops. When you are buying, this is the price that is being offered to you from the broker. This is the price that the broker is willing to sell to you for you to buy, okay? So that is your um, ask price. So your ask price is what the broker is willing to sell so that you can buy it from the broker. The bid price is what you'll see on the sell section. So the bid price is generally lower than the ask. They might be the same. And this is the price that the broker is willing to buy from you so that you can sell this currency pair. Now, the reason for this being important is that there's something called a spread. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So... If the bid, right, which is what the broker is willing to buy, broker buy, is 1.27313, let's see if we can make this smaller. Cool. So if the bid price, which is what the broker is willing to um, buy from you is 1.23713, and actually it's now 7314, it just changed. And the ask price, which is what the broker is willing to sell, is 1.27319. This has changed again. So we're just going to keep it at this. So let's say that the current bid is 1.27315, the ask is 1.27319. That means, and I'm going to show you this in calculator so I can make this quick. The bid, excuse me, the ask is 1.27319. Subtract the bid price, 1.27315. And you have 0 0.00004. What this means is it's four tenths of a pip. Okay. So, so some I've talked about this before on what is a pip. In this specific instance, our pips are the fourth decimal point. So if we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0004, like we see over here in the calculator, it is four tenths of one pip as your spread. Some spreads can be multiple pips, which is why it's really important that you understand how that works because that is the difference between making potentially making a lot and making a little based off of that spread. So I'll go into that in another video. Um, I don't really want to cover that too much right now because it is coming up on time. The last thing I wanted to talk about is a couple of things. So how do you read a quote? So a quote <clears throat> is this, basically this right here. Okay. You'll have your currency pair and it's split between the pairs. So this is a GBP USD. So your base currency is on the left. Your quote is on the right. So our base currency in this pair is the GBP or Great British Pound. Our quote, which is what we are comparing the exchange rate to, is the uh, currency on the right, which is the US dollar. 
<clears throat> so when you buy a pair, so when you buy a GBP USD, you are actually, <clears throat> um, oh, I already covered this. <laughs> so um, let me just get, oops. Um, I believe that's it, actually, since I covered that already. Oh, no, one last thing. So just like in stocks, if you are going long, you are buying the currency pair. If you are going short, you are selling it. Now, how do you make money off of that? Again, if it goes in the direction that you anticipate, that you have calculated based off of any number of strategies, right? If it goes in your direction, you want to buy low and sell high, and you want to sell high and buy low. It's literally just like stocks in that regard. So other than that, I believe that's all I wanted to cover. And if not, if I don't cover everything, please be sure to um, click on the, if you're on Facebook, the there should be a button somewhere above here where you can tap on to turn on my live. If you are watching this as a replay on YouTube, there should be a subscribe button right here. So click on that and then the little bell to be notified when I go live. And feel free to reach out. I have a free group where I provide tips, tricks, and trainings on what I'm learning with Forex because as it says here, I am not a licensed financial advisor. I am simply sharing this amazing information with people because it can change your life. Obviously, I can't guarantee that, but I have met so many people that have been able to live life to their fullest and follow their dreams because they have invested in themselves, learned how to effectively utilize Forex trading, and do some amazing things with it. So if you want to learn more, feel free to reach out, send me a message, join my free group. Or if you can't wait for a weekly update from me on this training, I can share with you the tips, to, excuse me, the, the tools and systems that I use in order to be able to learn this and um, progress in my own journey with Forex. So thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Cassandra, aka The Daily Wealth Ninja. Hope you have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.